<laughs> wow, I've never seen so much chocolate! Our human must be super lucky. He won the grand prize in that competition. A lifetime of chocolate bars. We'll never need to eat anything else. Exactly. We don't need that boring job anymore. Just give me a second and done. Enough talk. Let's dive right into all this sweet chocolatey goodness. Uh, guys, it's been a few days of eating nothing but chocolate now, and I know Stomach is really happy, but I don't think doing this for much longer is a good idea. Relax, this is heaven. It's the best thing that ever happened to us. That's the dopamine talking brain and you know it. <laughs> Dopa what? Chocolate bars contain a lot of sugar <laughs> and eating sugar gives brain a huge surge of dopamine, which is the feel good chemical. Since we've been eating just chocolate for the past few days, brain is overloaded with feel good chemicals and might be addicted to sugar by now. Oh, let it be, Heart. I agree with Brain. It feels so good to eat all of this yummy chocolate. Uh, suit yourselves, but don't say I didn't warn you. Ah, dude, I am really thirsty. Hey, where's my water bottle? Uh, I warned you, right? Eating nothing but chocolate bars for a long period of time would cause nothing but trouble. Heart, what's wrong? Oh, I'm not doing so good, Brain. Everything hurts, and I don't know if I can last much longer. Oh no, what have I done? Uh, doctor! Whoa, you guys really let yourselves go. Doctor, the heart is feeling pain all over. Can you give a diagnosis? Hmm, now let's see. The heart's walls are all inflamed and have gone stiff. This is stressing the heart big time and causing major damage. Oh, oh no, not heart! Oh, oh, mm. What caused all this, doctor? Do you really need to ask me that? Eating only sugar for more than a month has caused your human to gain enormous amounts of fat in such a short period of time. If you guys don't fix this ASAP, then this can lead to heart disease, like heart attacks, stroke, and heart failure. Ugh. Now what? Oh, I'm just really thirsty. We ran out of drinking water and can't buy anymore because our human quit his job. You what? Oh, that tears it. Sugar makes you thirsty faster than normal. So without drinking water, not only will you get heart disease, you'll also die of thirst in only a few days. Ah, oh, brain, please. Okay, okay. Uh, stomach, we must stop eating this delicious, soft, chewy, tantalizing... Brain! brain! Fine, I'll beat this addiction and go see a doctor right now. Oh, uh, who knew such a wonderful thing like chocolate could cause so many problems? Whew, any longer and we would have also developed type 2 diabetes, which would make everything even worse than it already is. Thanks for facing your addiction, Brain. What the? What are those trucks doing in front of our house? Oh, we won another competition. A lifetime of potato chips. No, Yay, not come off. on! Um, guys, something is feeling strange right here. What happened? We just won a bet. That's what happened. You mean we've just swallowed a piece of Lego just to win a bet? Okay, saying that out loud makes it sound so stupid. It looks like something is stuck in here. What did you do this time? Well, it looks like we have a small inconvenience. Uh, we swallowed a Lego and... We are going to die! I can't breathe! Oh, well, that doesn't sound very smart. Okay, let's see. Well, the pieces can get stuck in the digestive tract and cause suffocation. <laughs> oh my, so we are really about to die. Well, today is your lucky day. It seems that the piece was small enough to keep going. Oh, that explains why we can still breathe. Um, doctor, I may be suffering a little pain. Exactly, the body is detecting the presence of a foreign body inside and generates abdominal pain. But don't worry, that's not a big deal. In some rare cases, the piece can cause intestinal perforations. But I don't think this is the case. Anyways, we need to get rid of it. Well, how about we try to vomit the piece? Oh, that's a brilliant idea. Of course, if what you intend is to generate much more serious injuries throughout the entire length of the digestive tract. And if... Uh, why don't you rest, Brain? You are not making the best decisions today. Guys, the pain is gone! I think the piece ran its course. Doctor, apparently we can breathe, and we have not suffered serious injuries to the digestive tract. Now how can we get rid of the piece? Well, um... I poop. And that's how we eliminate the piece. Uh, stomach? Isn't the food supposed to go downward and not back up? 
Guys, help! I feel horrible, and all of the lovely food is leaving me! Oh, I can't bear to part with them! Uh, Brain, do you have any idea what's going on? Brain? Brain! Uh, huh? What's that? Oh, sorry, Heart. It's just that I'm in a lot of pain right now, and can't really focus very well. What? You too? What the heck is happening here? First Stomach's food is leaving him, and now you're in serious pain! Ugh, I think we're suffering from food poisoning. Poison? Oh no, did a bad guy put something in our food? Was he a ninja, or a spy, or- No, no, I think our human ate some rotten cheese. Our human Why did would he what? Do that? Seriously, what, what is wrong with him? So what do we do now, Brain? How do we fix this? Ah. Uh... Ew, that's nasty! Doctor, help me! My food is leaving me, and I'm in terrible pain! How can my food do this to me? We've always had such a great time together! Brain says the human ate some rotten cheese. You what? Don't you know that expired food is unsafe to eat? Oh, why did nobody tell me? I thought food grew finer with age. Like, you know, wine! Ugh, on the contrary. When food stays in the refrigerator or is exposed to air for a long time, bacteria will begin to grow on them and cause food poisoning when eaten. The cheese probably had a bunch of mold growing on it already. Mold? Mmm, that sounds tasty. Duh! No, it's really not. Molds are a type of fungus that produces spores. They're transported through air, insects, and water, and can be found everywhere in the environment, including in the refrigerator. Everywhere? So they're like ninjas, or spies, or, uh, kinda. Anyway, these molds can carry a bunch of harmful bacteria, including E. coli, Listeria, Salmonella, and Brucella. Excuse me, doctor, but I have to... That's called vomiting. And even though it's disgusting, it's the forceful ejection of the contents of the stomach and upper digestive system through the mouth. So it's one way the body purges toxins, like the bacteria you just mentioned, right? So how do we know if food is still okay to eat? For packaged food like cheese, check the expiration date and make sure it's properly stored. Always keep food in the refrigerator if there are leftovers. Leftovers can be kept up to three or four days in the refrigerator. So if you don't think you'll be able to finish them within that time, you should freeze them so they'll last longer. Whew. Uh, guys, anyone else feel hot around here? Well, buddy, that's another way the body tries to purge toxins. Fever. Fever? Yeah, a fever is a sign that the immune system is working to fight off the bacteria. You got that right, doctor! What, Spleen? I haven't seen you in a while. What's up, buddy? Well, civilian, I'm currently working hard to get rid of the bacterial invaders in our systems. You know, a higher temperature makes it harder for the bacteria in the body to survive, and that's why you are sweating. Exactly. The normal body temperature is about 37 degrees Celsius, and anything above 37.8 degrees Celsius is considered a fever. Ooh, Spleen, you're so smart. Hey, don't forget it's me who's working overtime fighting off the bacteria as well. Ugh, they always forget about us. Wow, you guys are doing such an amazing job. Much appreciated, Hart. Now, if you fellas will excuse me, there's a war that needs to be won. Good hunting, soldier. Uh, please, don't forget. I'm dying of pain up here. Headaches are also another symptom of food poisoning, I'm afraid, along with blurry vision and general weakness. Plus, the dehydration might also be getting you. The dehydration? But we're not in the desert anymore. No, but stomach has also vomited a lot of fluid as well. So this whole time, your human's been getting more and more dehydrated. Oh no, but doesn't that result in death? As always, yes. Oh no! Water, I need oh, water! Oh, wait a sugar coated, doctor! Yep, the good old Grim Reaper's gotten mighty familiar with your human by now. Stop it, doctor. So what do we do now? Your human has to ingest a lot of fluids to replace the ones he lost. Preferably ones with electrolytes. But we already tried to get electric powers once, and it didn't work. No, no. Electrolytes are minerals, such as sodium, potassium, and calcium, which are vital to the body and need to be replenished quickly. Your human will also need to take some antibiotics with them. And those are... They're important medications that treat infections caused by bacteria and prevent the spread of disease. All right, we've got to get Brain to fight the pain and have our human drink those fluids and antibiotics for the good of the war. Ah, oof, ugh. Brain, I know you're in a lot of pain, but you've got to fight it, buddy. Our human needs to replenish his fluids quickly or everything is going to become much worse. 
Yeah, and we've got to drink some antibiotics, too. I know the fever is meant to help us, but it's beginning to affect us, too, and we're starting to have some trouble breathing. Apologies, civilian, but we've all got to tough it out during wartime. Ugh, but it's just too painful, guys. I don't think our human can get up at all when we're feeling like this. Maybe if I just rest my eyes. Wait, no! We do need to rest a lot and let the fever do its work, yes, but we have to drink the fluids and antibiotics first. I, I'm sorry, Hart. I don't think I can. It's just too hard, and I'm really, really tired. Hart, this isn't working. We're also starting to get weaker and weaker. Is this how we go out after everything? After the volcano, the desert, and even outer space? The thing that finally takes us out is a stupid sandwich? Brain, if we drink plenty of fluids with our antibiotics, the pain will never bother us again. I promise. Are, are you sure, Hart? Absolutely. Cross myself and hope to- Don't say it! Oh, all right. It's tough, but we gotta do whatever it takes to beat our enemy. Fight on, soldier! For, For the, the good, good of the war! war! There. Plenty of fluids with electrolytes and a side of antibiotics. Oh, I'm feeling better already. Brain! 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 Should be feeling fine the next time he wakes up. Ugh, what time is it? What's going on? Brain! I'm super hungry! We need to eat! Hurry and get up! How do you feel, Brain? D doctor I'm still feeling weak, but at least the pain is gone. Reports from the front line! Most of the bacteria has been beaten back, and we are well on our way to recovery! See? Told you he'd be fine. You did great, Brain! Brain, what's the holdup? We need to eat now! Alright, alright, buddy. What do you want? My favorite! Cheesecake! Not Bleh. cheese! Never again! Pick another one! Nope! Uh-uh! Ooh, what are we eating today? Your favorite! Fruit salad! Oh yum! Gimme, gimme, gimme! What the heck, Doctor? Where's the stomach? Gone! Today, we are gonna play a little game called Can We Live Without This Organ? Bye bye Well, I feel okay. Me too. I wasn't expecting that. Maybe the stomach is useless! You said it, brother! I don't know, guys. There's probably a catch. That'd be me. Without the stomach, I simply catch all the food directly from the mouth, absorb its nutrients, and then poop. The poop part was unnecessary. Wait, the intestines absorb the nutrients from the food? I always thought the stomach did that. Same! This is so weird! Maybe the kidneys were right for once. Maybe the stomach is useless after all. Guys, I don't feel so good. Hey, uh, intestines, where are all the nutrients? You said absorbing them was your thing. It is my thing, but it's way harder if the nutrients are not broken down or mixed with stomach acids. It's like trying to eat a beef jumbo burger in one bite. Wait, that's why I've been processing nutrients and waste like crazy? Because you suck at absorbing them? That's not the only issue. If we're not absorbing the proper nutrients, our immune system will be much weaker and we'll be more likely to get sick. To make matters worse, the stomach's acids usually kill most of the bacteria in our food, so... Hold on, guys. Let me take this. Ahem. Hello. Hey, Split. Any idea what's going on? Red blood cells are all large, and some of them are dying earlier than expected. We need vitamin B12! I'll see what I can do. Okay, stomach. I need you to, a uh... Stomach? Let me guess. No stomach, no vitamin B12. Ugh. We are in so much trouble. I'm back, and I brought a friend. I'm hungry. Hey, buddy, you're finally back. Yeah, we missed you, friend. We couldn't live without you, literally. So what did you all learn today? That we can't live without a stomach? Nope, you totally can. What? No, 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 no way, doctor. After all we've been through, like, how? I'll tell you more about it in our next episode. Oh, come on, don't leave us hanging. Okay, I am confused. So we can't live without a stomach, except we can? It's like love. More like a stomachache. <laughs> Guys, focus. Last episode, our entire body almost died after the stomach left. 
And now the doctor says it's useless? Nope, he said we can technically live without a stomach. Two different things. Yeah, yeah, point taken. I still want to hear the explanation. Oh, someone's becoming interested in the world of medicine. <laughs> Shut up, heart. Hello, organs. Dude, the video started like 20 seconds ago. You want to be famous on the web and stuff? You shouldn't leave your audience hanging and just answer the video's title. Good point. Okay, short answer is... Yes, we can live without a stomach. Many people do, actually. People that have certain types of diseases or cancers in the stomach have had big chunks of their stomach removed. I've seen this in a book. That's called a gastrectomy, right? You're stealing my thunder brain. Sorry. <clears throat> when people get a gastrectomy, the doctors may suggest changes on their diet. In many cases, the recommendation is to eat smaller, more frequent meals. But, as it's always the case in medicine, it, it depends, depends case, case to case. case. Hey, doctor, what about vitamin B12? The stomach allows the intestines to absorb it. Without it, we may get megaloblastic anemia. Megalo what now? Basically a type of anemia in which the body can't produce enough healthy red blood cells. Again, brain, you're stealing my thunder here. Okay, so depending on the case, a doctor may counter the vitamin B12 deficiency with some supplements to maintain your nutrition levels to where they should be. Yep, medicine is a wonderful thing! Huh, well, even if we can live without a stomach, I'm still glad to have you around, dude. Oh, I love you too, liver. Uh -huh. You're melting me! What did you- oh, oh, I see what you did there.